KKK, Nazi, it's the same thing. I suppose if I was running one of the greatest cons of this century and 9,000 people showed up to expose it, yeah, I'd be terrified too. But we're just ignoring their rhetoric and we're pushing onward. Because you know what? March 15th, it's coming. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Zuckerman and I, I represent, of course, the, the appellants of taxpayers, Michael and Marla Sklar. As the court knows, this, this case involves the Sklar's 1995 tax return uh, IRS disallowed $15,000 that the Slars claimed as a charitable contribution representing the, um, the amount they claimed was what they had paid for the religious component of their children's education at two schools, two Orthodox Jewish schools uh, in the Los Angeles area. Members of the Church of Scientology are permitted by IRS to deduct as charitable contributions their payments for religious education. To the best of our knowledge, IRS will not allow practitioners of any religion to deduct payments for education other than members of the Church of Scientology. There's, there's probably no more fundamental uh, point to be said about the First Amendment than that the government may not discriminate on the basis of what religion a person practices in terms of whether they may or may not deduct a certain payment as a charitable contribution.
view of the IRS is that it can violate the Constitution by establishing religion, by treating one religion more favorably than other religions in terms of what it allows as deductions, and there can never be any judicial review of that. Your Honor, that is not at all what I said. It is the IRS's view. Well, that's the bottom line. It's the IRS's view that it can settle, it can resolve an issue by giving, conceding something to one person, one group, in exchange for a payment and resolution of litigation. It is not the general policy of favoring one group, and I don't think that the IRS is acting unconstitutionally in settling. I know you're not going to say that that's the agreement, but it's written right into it. Well, there was a payment made, though, and litigation was conceded, so it's not as simple as... You're saying now that it's okay as long as the IRS gets some money. That doesn't violate the Establishment Clause to settle with... No, it does. I mean, this does intrude into the Establishment Clause when you're, when the government is favoring, that's the whole point, is government neutrality toward religion, according to some people, and that's exactly what the IRS is not doing here. Hang out in Clearwater and you can see squads of Scientologists march to and from auditing sessions. A couple of years ago, you would have seen one man against the crowd, Sean Lonsdale, filming them. A couple of years ago, he'd gone along to a council meeting about a planning dispute. The local paper reported that he fell out with a Scientologist at that meeting, was followed home that night, and the next day found a strange van parked outside his house. Suddenly, the rootless drifter had a mission in life. He challenged Scientology in its citadel. When alive, the Scientology spokesman said of him, he has no redeeming value to anyone, anywhere. But now he's dead. And I, for one, mourn the loss of a brave and singular American.
anonymous issues to the Church of Scientology, their ultimate threat. One five kilogram pack of nitroglycerin will detonate in the churches of Scientology. This is my son, Zachary Aaron, if you know where he is. Try to convince him to get in communication with me. The church right now is playing a video that says, love and honor your, respect your parents. He should do that. The church should not prohibit him from communicating with us. It's also harmful to the Church of Scientology because they're, they're building a reputation as house records, home records. So if you know Zach, tell him to call Ken or Grace Aaron, his parents. I want to thank this group of anonymous people for having the courage to come out and stand by their convictions and demonstrate. How do I thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.